about the crash that killed Officer Nelson on Friday morning. 23 ABC's Cassie Carlisle is in front of VPD headquarters where she says the flags around town are still at half staff to honor Officer Nelson. Cassie. Here at BPD, their flag is also flying lower. This memorial behind me says BPD gone but not forgotten. If you look over here at this memorial wall, the Officer David Nelson is the next name that is going to come up. The last one was William Sokola over 30 years ago. If you come over here and look at these trees down Truxton, all of them have blue ribbons on them that are honoring Nelson, and this isn't the only place that he's being remembered. It's been a horrendous weekend. I have solace in um, the fact that I got to meet the family down here. Today, you can still see the marks from Officer Nelson's patrol car that burst into flames early Friday morning. Now, Bakersfield Police Chief Greg Williamson shared what Officer Nelson was like. His dream was to be a police officer. He applied for three different police departments, Bakersfield being one of them, and we were the first ones to call, is what they said. So he jumped at the chance to have a job. This job comes with risks. Friday morning, Officer Nelson pulled over a silver Hyundai with paper plates, and when he approached the car, it took off. Nelson ran back to his car and started the pursuit that ended at Panorama in Mount Vernon. Now police are saying they found a shotgun that was left by the suspect at the crash scene. BPD got an anonymous tip over the phone Saturday that led them here. Police arrested Julian Hernandez and the chief is pretty confident he's the one who led Officer Nelson on the deadly pursuit. 23ABC talked with neighbors to find out who Hernandez was visiting, but no one would confirm that to us. Okay, I heard that, that he's friends with somebody here. While there are still many questions, it doesn't sound like we're going to get more information anytime in the near future. We're holding a lot of stuff back right now um, until we move forward with the case itself in court. For now, the flames will continue to burn at the memorial site to honor Nelson. Hernandez was booked here late Saturday night on charges related to hit and run, felony possession of a firearm, evading an officer, and obstructing arrest with violence. Jackie.